SFM provide aerospace and agricultural equipment and tooling for both of these industries. Applications are ground support equipment, which includes staging, these 3D printing of blade cradles. It's a blade restraint cradle. So basically, when um, a helicopter is on board a ship, it has the facility to fold its helicopter blades back. Once the helicopter blades are folded back, when you're at sea, it's still windy and the blades can flap. So these blades need to be restrained so this flapping doesn't occur. You see it's wrapped round. This is an actual section of a blade. And as you can see, it gets pulled up. And then it's locked into position. The task that was given was uh, for Leonardo's to come up with a solution because the old cradles, having failed, they had to find a solution. They had to find a solution very quickly. And the idea of 3D came about. This was quite a, a long process. So we had a look at many aspects of 3D printing. We have to look at cost, speed, efficiency, and of course, the size. That pushed us towards Big Rep. So eventually, we looked at Big Rep Pro. So we had to look at a production printer, which I think and I believe that the Big Rep Pro can provide. Now, we are in full production mode. So machine is used as a production machine. Every cradle will be going to the end customer now. They're all purely production parts. The material choice, we had to look at very carefully. So I have to look at strength, I have to look at quality, I have to look at the speed, and eventually uh, it came to looking at high temp CF. Given that I spent 24 years in the Royal Navy, I know what the conditions and the hardships that equipment goes through on, on board a ship. And so therefore, with my experience, the testing was over and above even what our customer had. In the aerospace industry, there is still many I would say designers still slightly nervous about 3D printing. So by using these cradles, we can demonstrate that actually 3D printing can be used in the aerospace industry quite comfortably from a strength, repeatability and quality side. And I know for a fact that as the industry gets more and more technically forward on 3D printing, certainly there will be more and more parts because of the speed and accessibility to them. <laughs>